Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Neo Stock. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys. Let's go on our investor journey together. So today we're going to be talking about Neo. And today we're going to be asking the question, is Neo a buy at $48.70? Where do I think Neo is headed by the end of the year? And do I think that Neo can hit $100 early into next year? As you guys know, if you don't know what NEO actually does, NEO is an EV company that's based out of China, right? They sell luxury electric vehicles. Basically the same thing that Tesla does. Like I said, this one just happens to be based out of China. Looking at the five-year chart, this thing IPO September 12th of 2018, currently up 711%. It's doing very, very well for itself. But if you guys take a look at the one-year chart, currently up 2,530%. I've said this time and time again that I do think that NEO stock is the biggest growth stock of 2020. And looking at the three-month chart, it is also up 256%. I know a lot of people have been waiting for actually like a significant pullback. We did see a little bit of a pullback uh, earlier this week and maybe even at the end of last week as well. Um, NEO did kind of hit the $42 range, but I think people were expecting like a much bigger pullback. They're like, oh, I want to buy NEO for so much cheaper. Is $48 too expensive to buy NEO stock? And guys, I'm going to say this time and time again. I don't think right now is a bad time to pick up NEO stock. Actually, right now, I think is the best time to pick up NEO stock, guys. NEO has been experiencing so much growth. They did report earnings earlier this week. And as you guys know, they did do very, very well on the earnings. They beat the expectations of what people thought they were going to do on the earnings, which goes to show a lot about the company itself. As you guys know, NEO is expanding more and more every single day. Based out of China, already expanding to Europe. NEO consistently is beating its delivery estimates. And it's not even by small margins, guys. They're beating their delivery estimates by over double or even triple of what people were expecting them to. Which goes to show that NEO's cars are in demand and that NEO as a company is in demand as well. On top of all that, guys, NEO is already expecting $960 million dollars in revenue by the next quarter, which goes to show that the company is growing very, very quickly. On top of all that, they just released two new sedans or they're going to be releasing two new sedans that are going to rival the Model 3 of Tesla. As you guys know, Tesla has started to make its presence in China, which is going to stiffen up the competition for NEO. But NEO dropping two new vehicles that basically rival the Model 3 is going to actually be huge for NEO as a company and it's going to be huge for the stock itself. As you guys know, it goes to show that NEO is extending its brand line, it's extending itself as a company, and it's starting to basically become a bigger EV company. On top of all that, this thing is consistently getting analyst upgrades all the time. As you guys know, JP Morgan tripled its analyst upgrade from $14 to $40. Deutsche Bank also increased its analyst upgrade on NEO stock as well, basically saying that NEO is going to be a top EV company. And it goes to show that when all these analysts are backing up the stock, saying now's a great time to buy NEO, NEO is going to be a great company, NEO is going to be an iconic brand, it goes to show if there's so many bullish people about this specific stock, it goes to show that, you know, NEO is a company worth investing in, even at $48.78. Like I said, guys, if you take a look at the one-year chart, the fact that this thing was trading at $2.26, being able to go grow 2,537%, in the span of a year, in the midst of a pandemic, goes to show the value behind NEO as a company. Like I said, on top of all that, NEO is also dropping a, bit, a bigger and better battery, which goes to show that that's probably the biggest complaint about a lot of EV cars right now is the range that they're able to drive. So NEO being able to drop a bigger and better battery goes to show a lot about the company itself. NEO only been being around for about four years now. It's already evaluated bigger than General Motors, a company that's been doing business for a very long time now. And the fact that NEO is bigger than General Motors and their sales are increasing time and time again goes to show that right now is a very good time to pick up NEO stock. And the reason why I do think NEO is headed to $100, guys, and you guys have to understand that I'm not just saying this because of clickbait or because I want the the revenue or anything like that, guys, you have to understand that the reason I'm saying this is because I truly do believe that Neil will hit $100. Guys, you have to understand, if you take a look at my channel, I've been telling people to buy Neil stock ever since it was $10 a share. As I saw that the EV market is starting to mature, the EV market has a lot more demand now, and it's more in want. If you take a look at Tesla, for example, Tesla was founded in 2003, guys, but did not see a lot of success until about 2013 to 2014, and not even seeing a profitable quarter until 2018. 
the fact that it took Tesla basically 14 to 17 years to basically get where it's at today and Neo has been able to grow so much in just the span of four years goes to show the merit of Neo, but it also shows that there's just more of a want of EV cars, not only because of now, but guys, you have to understand that the EV market is just starting to mature. It's just starting to grow, meaning that, you know, Neo and all these other EV companies have so much more room to grow that it's absolutely insane. So me saying that Neo or me putting a price target for Neo at $100 is not unrealistic, guys. The fact is, if you take a look at it at the beginning of the year, when Neo was $2.25 a share, and I told somebody, hey, Neo stock will be at $50. A lot of people would be speculative, but look where it sits now, guys. It's fairly, fairly close to $50 a share now. And the fact, like I said, looking at the one-year chart, the fact that it's up 2,538%, no one would have expected that, guys. But NEO in itself is proving itself time and time again by dropping more vehicles, by dropping better vehicles, dropping better and bigger batteries. And they also have NEO Day coming up at the beginning of the year where they're going to be unveiling a whole lot of new products. Basically, what's to come for the company and the fact that the CEO of the company is already expecting so much increase in sales by the next quarter goes to show that NEO is here to stay and NEO is going to be growing for a very long time. Imagine once we find a vaccine and once the coronavirus has kind of subsided, we're able to evaluate the situation a little bit more and goes to show that NEO can grow so much bigger and faster without the pandemic kind of roaming the earth. You know, right now, people's main priority is probably not buying cars, but the fact that once the pandemic subsides, NEO is going to be able to grow at the massive rate that it's going. And on top of all that, guys, NEO is currently working on a self-driving chip, which is going to be huge for the whole EV market development in itself. I know that NEO in itself has a lot to offer as a company. Buy Neo, buy Neo, guys. Buy Neo at $48.80. It is worth the investment. I promise you guys, you will not regret it. But with that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you think of Neo stock. Do you think Neo stock will hit $100 early to next year? Do you think Neo will be as big as Tesla if you guys own Neo stock? How many shares do you own and what's your average? With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.